Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me on a, what's been an absolute scorcher of a day, actually, uh, over 30 degrees. Uh, and this is the fifth day running. We've had over 30 degrees, which um, officially counts as a heat wave here in the UK. I, I know it doesn't quite uh, stack up to uh, what's happening or what happens in other countries you know I know we have viewers in sort of America Canada Australia you know Europe etc but um, five days on the trot over 30 that's officially a heat wave but uh, I mean it's it's meant that it's been very very warm work up here uh, today and uh, you know got some lots of watering everything's been really thirsty and also um, quite a lot of weeding as well but I have uh, picked a few things um, you know it's not just all hard labor uh, there are some fruits of that labor as well so um, we've got a couple more of these uh, globe artichokes there uh, so yeah uh, they're still going strong uh, sort of on the on the plant over there Got the last of the uh, red and the uh, black currants there. Uh, the bush has been absolutely heaving with those for the last two or three weeks, and uh, yeah, we've had had plenty off there. And also uh, picked a few more of these uh, lovely, these lovely garlics. So um, yeah, we've got an absolute bunch of those at home. But of course, I am here to talk about whiskey, and uh, you know, I'm sure you're all wondering what is the allotment dram today. You know, despite that all being very interesting about weather reports and what I've picked. But um, of course, normally on a very warm day today, I mean, if you're thinking about whiskey, which, you know, most people and probably not, they're probably thinking of a good gin and tonic or a nice cold beer. But um, of course, if you're thinking whiskey, you're probably thinking of something quite light, fresh, uh, vibrant, you know, something that's going to be quite refreshing. But um, Unfortunately, at home, I don't really have anything that fits the bill for that. So the allotment dram today has almost gone in the opposite direction. It's quite rich, heavy, quite sweet and quite aggressively high in the ABV. You know, it's cast strength, single casks. And, and it is the, the Cavalan Solist port cask. So uh, what can I tell you about this? Um, well, Cavalan is the best known and best selling Taiwanese single malt in the world. Uh, it was founded in 2005 uh, by the King Car Corporation and uh, they really uh, saw a, ni a niche uh, in the market where um, there was the possibility, you know, Scotch whiskey sold particularly well in Taiwan, um, but they saw the possibility of making uh, whiskey uh, in, in their own country. And uh, you know they were really they saw this niche in the market and and really themselves and probably two or three others that I can immediately think of were really at the sort of forefront of this sort of new wave of uh, new world whiskies. So you know I think of MacMira from Sweden and Penderyn from Wales that both started you know sort of around the turn of the century. But these weren't far behind at Cavalan. Cavalan um, is actually the name of uh, an indigenous tribe that lived in the area of Taiwan where the distillery is and um, sadly they, they no longer exist but uh, uh, Cavalan was their name so uh, they thought it appropriate to kind of honor them uh, and because of the climate in Taiwan the whiskey matures very quickly you know it's very warm uh, in the summer you know way warmer than we're experiencing here very cold in the winter but it, what it means is you get this amazing interaction very vigorous interaction between the wood and the whiskey so all the whiskies they're releasing are like three four five years old and it means they get a return on their investment way quicker than say someone new setting up in Scotland or Ireland where it's a lot more temperate climate so they found it in 2005 but released their first single malt in 2008 and they've gone on to win multiple top prizes and awards and medals in all the big competitions around around the world so you know real hats off uh, you know this is reflected in the fact that the distillery has grown originally it started off about a million 
million and a half litres a year. It's now been expanded to deal with the demands and is nine million litres a year. So absolutely fantastic success story from the last 15 or 16 years or so. But uh, what can I tell you about the Solist? Well, all of these are single cask or small batch uh, releases. And they're all released at the natural cask strength, so high ABV. Uh, and the first of these actually came out a year after the first ever single malt in two, and it came out in 2009. And what uh, it, the series has become known for is the use of quite unorthodox casks, some quite different cask types. So um, this one's port, you know, which is becoming more commonly used to mature single malt, but uh, you know, they've used things like brandy, uh, all sorts of different fortified wines um, you know they also do um, some peated spirit as well for a short time so you know really sort of slightly experimental uh, with the whole thing and this one I mean for example uh, you've got this port cask has yielded just 189 uh, bottles and ours is bottle number 186 so um, I think without uh, further ado we should really should give it a try um, see see how this goes down on this this warmish day there we go let's pop that down pop the lid back on okay so let's have a smell oh, wow it's at, at it's just like booming out of the glass it's wow you know very full on very sweet there's like a dark caramel treacle toffee some milk chocolate as well and then a ton of dried fruits you know you've got some dark raisins um, dried currants but also some maybe like dried apricots something like that as well and let's let's have a taste mmm as I said, these are all pretty high strength, natural car strength. This one in particular is 57.8, and it's pretty punchy. It's pretty hot and peppery, but you've got all these juicy dried fruits coming through. There's all of those things, the raisin, the dates. You've got these dried currants as well. This treacle toffee, bit of golden syrup and then some chocolate. It's probably a bit more dark chocolate now than the milk chocolate that I was getting on the nose. A bit nutty as well. It's a bit of, it's like hazelnut, uh, something like that. But yeah, very, a bit of apricot. Again, apricot jam and so a hint of something tropical, which tends to come through on Cavalan. I, I don't know whether it's to do with the spirit or whether it's to, the type of spirit that they're making or whether it's to do with the this very quick maturation that um, the whiskey's experience but as i say this is this is pretty strong as i say 57.8 so what i'm going to do is you know most people apart from the most ardent whiskey fans would find this a bit strong and that includes me so i'm just going to just add a little bit of water to it just to see what happens uh, for you so um let's just uh just pop that down and then we'll just add a little bit of a little bit of water, a little splash. What this does, of course, it lowers the alcohol, so it should just free up uh, you know some of the some things can be inhibited sometimes by aromas and flavours by the high alcohol. So let's have a look here. Yeah, still this lovely coppery dark amber colour. Yes, immediately a bit softer. Bit more floral actually. Something almost like a jasmine. So something very fragrant, sort of summery, blossom-like. There, let's have another taste now. Mm. Immediately, the hot, peppery quality is almost gone. It's much creamier, it's very luxurious. Yeah, it's like um, you know, silky chocolates, ganache, 
you know, there's little sort of rolled up things covered in cocoa, like fondants, uh, chocolates. Um, there's a lot more sort of tropical fruit coming through now. Getting that apricot jam, definitely, but then also some pineapple, almost like a lychee or something like that as well. But um, yeah, now it's softer. It's a bit of this treacle toffee and maybe some sort of butterscotch or um, fudge as well. Yeah, but these dried fruits are still there. There's particularly this raisin. Yeah, very, very nice. And you can see why Cavalan wins lots of awards, even for their core range products. You know, and these, these solace are really prized. Um, so, you know, they're all, all sorts of different prizes, uh, prices. Uh, so, on average, I'd say probably 120 to 150 pounds a bottle. So you're paying for this sort of high strength, lack of availability but um, definitely worth checking out if you're into these big heavy whiskies and if you've never had Taiwanese whiskey before you know just check out one of the core range products there about 35 40 pounds as well so yeah from uh, myself uh, we're just gonna pack up now and head off for one of those gin and tonics or a nice cold beer that I mentioned earlier but uh, from myself and the Cavalan Solist port cask we will bid you farewell say thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon i hope bye now